my God, he's just in here, Cleveland Street Novelties. Oh my gosh, check it out. Ms. Koch has brought us a beautiful homage to the one and only Michael Myers. I cannot wait to dive into this thing. Check out the back. Ooh, it's got accessories on top of accessories. I cannot wait to dive in. So sit back, relax, grab some snacks, grab a cocktail, and get ready for a creeptastic good time. It's Just Jen, it's a Just Jen show. Just Jen, here's some things you should know. She likes things that are creepy, things that are dead. She likes to sing songs that get stuck in your head. It's Just Jen, it's a Just Jen show. Oh my goodness, you guys, I've been waiting to dive into this guy for um, for about a week or so now. But I wanted to wait because, uh, well, they're about to release the new movie on Friday. So I figured, actually today, I think we're going to be airing this today. So I want to be able to share with you today. So first off, you can check out this super cool box, this lovely sleeve over top. I'll take off in a second. But then on the back, it shows all the bazillion and one accessories that I can't wait to dive into. So... Bum ba da bum. Ba. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Now, this, of course, is in response to it being the 40th anniversary of John Carpenter's horror slasher classic, Halloween. <gasps> oh my gosh. Everyone out there wants to keep it in the box. This is what it's going to look like. Sad. That's what I call it. Sad. It's a sad life you leave. <laughs> you leave. So, on the back, of course, we got the cute little. Mez Bug back there. He's absolutely adorable. I love how that's like black on black. Very classic, very stylish, looking good. And I'm just going to tear right into this bad boy. They don't have it taped at the top or anything like that. Makes my life easy. Ooh, and it looks like, oh yeah, not a single twist tie in sight. You know how I hate those twist ties. Oh my gosh, not one but two knives. We got the classic Halloween Jaggedy Lantern, which makes me so happy. Bam! We got the lovely uh, sister's tombstone. Oh, poor Judith. That's right. He having the sexual relations. <laughs> you know what? I had read somewhere that John Carpenter didn't actually want it to be like... Um, putting down, you know, you have sex, you get killed. It turned into one of the tropes of most slasher movies. But it was just, you know... Uh, Lori was paying more attention. She was babysitting. She was being responsible. She wasn't just focused on one thing and one thing alone, getting her own tricks and treats for Halloween. <laughs> she was helping everyone else. And that's what helped her to survive. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is actually fabric. I thought it was just going to be all one pa plastic piece. No. And of course, you know, I'm checking to see if I can take the mask off, which I cannot, but check it out. Look at this. Ah, oh, the exorcist meets Halloween. <laughs> it feels like a fun rubber mask. It's so cool. I love all the detailing in the hair, even back here, the way it's sticking out a little bit because we've, we all got to face it. The hair on that mask was absolutely awful in the movie, but it just played up to the creep factor of it. You can see inside Michael's dead eyes staring out at you and of course that fabulous seam on the side so you know that it's just a rubber mask with something underneath um, probably has that same facial expression there again this great blue um, workman's jumpsuit the mechanic jumpsuit is classic of course and he's got like fist hands right now he's very angry he's very pent up frustrated Michael but inside We've got three other pairs of hands. We've got a pair of hands for holding the knives, which again, there are two of. We got a pair of open hands. Um, I'm not sure what he's going to be holding there. He's coming after somebody with these little open hands here. And then these, these are some grabbing hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to pop off these fist hands. And they pop off so nice and easy. This is wonderful. Sometimes I get so afraid with these toys that I'm going to break them when I'm playing with them. <laughs> I know so many of you out there are screaming, stop playing with it. You're going to break it. I think that in my head too. <laughs> but they were clearly meant to be played with. That's why they gave you all these fun accessories, all these fun hands. We're going to snap it right on there. Bam. Check it out. And then, if you guys notice, 
He's got a knife I just got from the butcher block. Knife that I just pulled out of Victim. <laughs> so I love the fact that they've got both the knives here. Let me slide it into his hand. We're going to say he's right-handed. Bam! Wow, wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love all the way down to his nice green on green muck boots that he's got going on there. Again, great movement on this doll as well. Knees kicking. He's doing some wonderful kung fu actions right there. <laughs> and now if I could just get his pants to come back down because we don't want him looking like he wearing floods. It's kind of hard to take him seriously when his pants are all rolled up and cuffed up above his boots. It's not how he would wear them. He's uh, much more styly than that. So if I can get it to come down. All right. I'll stop annoying you guys. Okay, there. Yeah, he came down. So we'll see if he can stand up on his own. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sure with some positioning he can't because, again, he's pretty darn poseable. Yeah, there he goes. But what makes it nice inside is if he doesn't have, he doesn't have to stand up on his own because look at the base. This image right here is such an iconic horror image and it's so freaking genius what a genius design to take the shape and the blade of the knife and turn it into that fabulous jack-o-lantern i love it so much i'm wondering where the stick is on this thing Ooh, get your hands down in there there's supposed to be a little stick for you to aha uh -huh, more accessories oh my god he's so mad at me i just knocked him straight face down i want to grab the pumpkin out of here i didn't realize i was wondering where the other accessory were there are two freaking layers of accessories to this guy check it out the classic jack-o-lantern what makes it so neat is they take the blade from the uh, nose and go all the way down to that jaggedy little mouth of his so he's got his bloody knife we got the sister's uh tombstone over here we have got, there's batteries? Oh, look at their batteries. Oh my God, you guys, I'm about to flip my lid. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't do enough research on this thing. You know, I love to be surprised. <laughs> so let's take this off. Let's see if we can put this piece inside of here. Where the heck's this going to go? Um, well, this makes it weird. Is there another piece that goes with it? We've got this evidence bag looking thing here, but there's supposed to be a way that he, he stands, but I'm kind of confused because this is a hole and th this is a pole and this is a pole. I don't know how to get them to go together. Alrighty, so I'm just going to set this over to the side again. Thankfully, he stands up on his own, maybe on his little foot. There we go. We can put his little foot on there. Maybe, I don't know what this guy is for, you guys. Here is also, bam. You guys remember poor Bob? <laughs> poor Bob didn't quite make it. Um, he and Linda were off fooling around. It's not the way it's supposed to be. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And he runs off to get a beer. Let's see if I can pop his little head off. Yes, come to me. Come to me. There we go. Because then he can become Bob's doppelganger. <laughs> he is posing as Bugos Bob. I always call my ghost Bugos. I don't know why, because I'm a bit of a dork, but that's okay. You guys already know that by now. Let me slide this on here. Oh, oh my goodness, yes. Bam! Look at this, you guys. Look how much fun this is to play with. It makes me so happy. Okay, then there are these two teeny, tiny looking battery things. And I am, for the life of me, trying to figure out where it goes. Okay, so let's see. Not a toy, not meant for children, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It goes into the jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Remove top piece. Ah! Oh, my God, you guys. This is ridiculous. There is the teeny tiniest of screws down inside here, which I don't even know if I have. But what makes this great is it comes with these teeny tiny batteries so you can actually the batteries are boom <laughs> the batteries right there so you can go ahead and actually make the jack-o-lantern light up oh my gosh you guys i'm 
flip of my lip. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and thank Mezco. And thank you guys for sharing this with me. Oh, check it out. I want to leave him in his Boo Ghost costume because it makes me so happy. And I want to kind of figure out how the heck this is supposed to do anything anywhere because um, the pieces don't quite fit together. I'll do some research and try to figure that out. Or figure it out by your dang self. <laughs> I want you to just play with your toys and have fun with them. I'll just stand them up around. Um, so thank you guys so much <laughs> for letting me ramble on and try to figure out how to play with all my toys in front of you. Thanks for sharing with me. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Make sure you guys are commenting below. Are you going to go see the Halloween when it releases? I know I am. I'm going to tell you all about it. And uh, I want to hear your thoughts on it. So I'll see you guys again real soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Hi guys! Do you like living dead dolls, mystery minis, horror movies, long walks in the cemetery? Me too! Make sure you subscribe!